Hello world, how you doing? Siema dzień dobry wszystkim. Today is another day in Singapore. I just changed the hotel to Boogies. Rooms are sold out in Singapore right now. That's unbelievable. But uh, I'm gonna show you the Clark Quay today by night because I heard it's gonna be busy. But first of all, I wanna have a, a lovely orange juice from this wending machine. That's, they are very cool actually here in Singapore. So just simply for $2, uh, oh, it's not working, come on. For $2, you're gonna get a beautiful juice here from the wending machine. Oranges are deep inside, actually here. My oranges are going there by the squeezing. And your juice is producing over here. But my juice, by the way, this is really nice juice for $2. Just $2 because it's fresh pressed juice. Uh, I really recommend it for everyone who are in Singapore to try. They are ev on every corner going to Boogie's MRT station and I'm looking for the laksa for lunch today. Didn't eat anything yet. Here is the little food court in Plaza Singapore and got myself the laksa. And they preparing a lot of food everywhere around. Laksa will be a little bit spicy but uh, yeah, you have to try it when you are in Singapore. Meanwhile, it's super clean. This is how he preparing my laksa. Check this out. Putting the soup, this is like a coconut soup. Uh, noodles, they are fish balls. This is the spicy thing, have to avoid. Thank you. All right guys, so I got myself the <laughs> spicy laksa, <laughs> the most <laughs> popular dish uh, in Malaysia, in Singapore, sometimes in Indonesia also. Uh, shouldn't be very spicy, I'm gonna try the soup a little bit. Uh, it's with the coconut milk. <laughs> it's not that really spicy, a little bit, yeah, but not that really. Cost you only $5, which is 50k in Bali. Uh, like a 350 American, very cheap in the nice mall. And now, after spicy laksa, sweet bird papa. <laughs> this is my my and Winnie favorite thing in Singapore <laughs> for the sweet desserts. Right after having some food, I arrived to the Clark Quay. So Clark Quay will be just behind this bridge, but there is a small street. It's called Boat Quay, Boat Quay or Quay actually. The Boat Quay is also actually heritage. So next to the bridge is actually the entrance to the walking street down there this is where i'm hitting now guys so basically if you enter here straight forward you can see so many bars and restaurants facing the uh, water or more on the uh, other side uh, quite many people also and of course in the background there will be skyscrapers of the business district what i mentioned already but super cool restaurants and bars around also a little bit loud music but not as that loud as uh, <laughs> also something what i wish bali will have one day uh, like a proper walk straight, something like that with so many bars and so many places to do and eat and drink. Uh, price is probably here a little bit uh, uh, more expensive than elsewhere, however, uh, is definitely worth it. And this is like a tourist, tourist place, also packed with the people everywhere around guys uh, this walk is for about 10 minutes maybe 15 minutes depend how fast you walk uh, and if you're interested to having a beer here is about 10 dollars uh, singaporean dollars also of course uh, but seems like it's so many people and it's actually really beautiful view around and well you can eat you can drink you can enjoy unfortunately i'm alone and that doesn't feel really comfortable to sit here alone but next time I will try to come to Singapore with uh, Winnie, with my wife, and for sure we will come here and enjoy. And Sayang, if you are watching this, uh, you can comment. We'll be coming here, right? For sure. Especially I want to sit somewhere there and facing the uh, beautiful panorama of uh, Singapore. By the way, this restaurant, this bar have a bear, so I think if I'm alone I can sit <laughs> with the bear. <laughs> that would be cool <laughs> sitting there with the bird. <laughs> but everywhere here you can find people from all around the world, cuisines from all around the world, and just everybody are just enjoying uh, their time. And it's so bright, actually, so nice to film here around. I uh, really like it. Happy hours, nine dollars for the pint. Not so bad. Actually, really not so bad. I saw somewhere beer for five dollars. If you're asking if Singapore is expensive or not, uh, I will talk about that also on different occasions. Meanwhile, enjoy the, I could say, little crowd. Also, this place is uh, kids family friendly, so it's not only is this place for adults or something, 
This is just everybody, everyone can come here and enjoy. There's also so many people chilling and there's also boats like this at night. I really want to do it one day. Okay, actually Clark, we is somewhere over there. I'm not sure yet. Uh, never been here, uh, but there is so many restaurants everywhere. Uh, everywhere around. This is a little bit similar to Sydney. Slightly similar to Sydney, like when I was last time. That's how it's under the bridge, underpass. Hello. And uh, with the full, we have the beautiful paintings. No graffiti at all. No vandalism at all. And here we go. This is the Clark Quay Central uh, Mall. So many people around. And this is the view on the other side, what everybody are facing. Uh, Riverside Point. I'm going there and going there and going there. There's so beautiful walk. Seems like this is the place where you want to be on the <laughs> afternoon in Singapore and seems very colorful and very busy. You can book your river cruise here in Singapore. I thought there was busy, but look at this one, guys. I don't have to go to Las Vegas. <laughs> in Singapore, it's already cool enough. Just two hours and 40 minutes flight from Bali. And if it's not busy, okay, maybe not like before, but guys, I didn't saw things like this in Bali already for the last two years over. And that looks so optimistic and <laughs> so cool. There's even fountain you can walk around, but I'm gonna show you a little bit around. I hope so. I just not gonna get the problems with this music, but uh, oh come on, even more busy right now. <laughs> People waiting in the queue to get to the to the bar. This warehouse Singapore. It must be a popular hotspot and. You walk everywhere around and you can see the uh, bars, places to chill, places to be. Uh, very cool place. It's called Clark Hui. And if you would like to listen a little bit more mellow vibes, tunes like uh, Brian Adams or something like this. Little Saigon, this is for you guys. If in Saigon places are like this, I need to go there anyway. So cool. Okay, sorry Brian, I have to go. But also this bar, Taikhan or whatever, over here and here and here also seems like it's not so bad. Maybe I just stop here and I'm gonna show you 360 degree. Maybe you can feel the vibe, how does it look like around. This is like a center of the Clark Wee. You can find whatever you like here. So cool. Really cool, but definitely this warehouse bar seems like his place to be. There's so many people waiting in the queue. I don't remember where I saw like that, like that last time. That's been a long time, guys. All right, guys, so this is definitely place to be. <laughs> the place where you can enjoy having a lunch, dinner, a few drinks, enjoy your time with the friends, whoever, or even alone. Uh, definitely cool place to visit. I hope so you enjoyed today's. I show you something what is, uh, I think, very worth it and is very cool. I really like it personally and I'm so surprised that it's so busy in Singapore, especially if we compare again to Bali. Minai, thank you so much for watching and I will see you tomorrow uh, on next one, another adventure from Singapore. Meanwhile, this one also is looking cool.